Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this really cool Mobius Giga Coaster. I call it Bo Giggly, probably a silly name, but it's got great stats. It costs about 6,500, and it'll make you an absolute fortune. It paid for itself inside two minutes. It makes about 1,300 every time it runs around because when you start off, you can charge £15 a go. First thing we're going to do then, we're going to come in and we're going to pick a Giga Coaster, custom design, and then we're going to go, let's plonk it down then, and then we're going to go up to one, two, that'll allow us room to put some pathing underneath to get a nice excitement bonus, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll give us maximum train length. So then I'm going to want to build the second station. So the way I do that now is I turn away and then turn back. And then medium, bend, and then we can go straight into the station platform there. And then delete this track back and then extend it there. So it's already three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to start at one of the stations. Doesn't matter which one you start with. Go into launch track, maximum speed. It won't hit it, but I do it anyway. One, two, three. And then we're going to go up, steep up steep up once twice and then we're going to flatten off and then down steep down then we're going to turn back one two and then we're going to flatten off there this side we're going to put the photo section there and then we're going to come back last tile before the station block break just there and then back exactly the same except we can't use another photo section so it's one two three and then up, steep up, one, two, flatten off, and then down, steep down, and then turn back towards the other station, one, two, and then shallow off, flat, and then back, last one, block break, there. Now you've got to place the station buildings, entrance, exit, entrance, exit doesn't really matter where you put them if you put them in the middle maybe you'll get a a bit uh, quicker for um, guests getting on and off but um, change this now to two trains and uh, set it to synchronize and click test so they're both one side that's fine it'll shoot one off and then the background And they set the synchronize. You can make it a little bit longer. So you've got uh, a couple of extra little booster tiles. Um, that will make the ride a little bit quicker. It'll make it a bit longer, a bit more expensive, but it's up to you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the path down now. So for the entrance, I'll tell you what I'll do first of all. Let's show you the excitement. So the excitement then. Let's toggle that so it hasn't got any of the path bonus in. Six. Cool. Okay, let's add the queue then. So. Just do this, bring that along. And then bring it all the way back to the main path. And then this side. underneath the track get a nice bonus there let's have a look 6.29 so let's give it a nice little bonus from the path let's, let's just reset it so we get the full effect 6.38 not bad and then we'll do the exit now and then we'll bring this one over and then maybe what we'll do is we'll have it coming up and over. And then back down. Let's put some no entry signs down. And 
there and there I'll put one there as well so I am going to put some shops and then we'll get a handyman we're definitely going to need one of these and the mechanic as well make sure we zone both stations that's that done let's give this a toggle so we get to so reset the stats so we get the full bonus 6.43 not bad okay so let's open it up on right photo put that the three and then But uh, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do first. Let's save the design. Select nearby. It hasn't selected the paths. I just want to do this because I want to show you how much this ride costs to build. So let's make sure we got all the paths done. Save it inspiringly titled giga coaster one and then let's look at it where is it giga coaster one six thousand five hundred okay so let's open it up then we're paying how much will they pay They pay 15. They are 16. No. But 15 is good. So what was it? 6,500? Is that about three circuits, is it? Looks like we're making about £1,300 per go. already paid for itself inside two minutes since we got so many guests riding it as well it would be rude not to merchandise the exit so all these guests going on are really happy because they've just been on an amazing ride So they're more likely to buy things which will make us even more money some sunglasses and some t-shirt there you go exit through the gift shop just like in real life and what are we running at just under nine thousand guests per hour it's already made nine thousand four hundred cost 6500 to build it's already made double what it cost inside a couple of minutes just under 10,000 there you go 10,000 guests per hour awesome let's give it a fancy paint job so it looks nice in the thumbnail cool what about space theme we're gonna have to give it a funky name as well so it's a gig coaster and it looks like a bow so how about bow giggly cool giggly awesome sauce so this was a bow giggly six thousand five hundred pound gig coaster that'll pay itself back inside a couple of minutes and will go on to make you an absolute fortune the reason why it works is because a gig coaster needs two drops and one of those drops needs to be at least 39 feet 
So even though the ride, even though the train and the guests are only going to go up and down once, the ride stats are shared between both stations. So it counts both drops and both drops are over the minimum height requirement. So that's why it works. So this was Bo Giggly. I am Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.